What is going on everybody? Welcome to the channel. My name is Tyler. I'm also known as the Geode Cracker and Collector. If you've seen my stuff before, you know I have a lot of geodes. Speaking of geodes, today's video I'm going to be showing you method number one. The first method, my favorite method of opening up geodes. Now for this method, you do need to have a particular tool. That tool is called a soil pipe cutter. A picture is going to be on the screen right now. So yes, that big majigger is what I've got right here by my feet. So this method, obviously you're going to need one of these. I do not recommend buying one brand new. Not that there's anything wrong with getting something brand new. The price tag for a new one of these is quite hefty opposed to one you can purchase that is used. You can buy one online, Facebook Marketplace, eBay, Craigslist even. You can find them out there. This one my brother got for me. I think he spent a little under $200, which is still a little bit pricey. Um, so that being said, we are gonna get into using this here device. There are a couple things we always wanna make sure we have when we are breaking open geodes, regardless which method that we use. Clothes, toad, shoes are essential when cracking open geodes. Next, safety glasses. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Whenever you are breaking open geodes, whatever the method, wear some safety goggles, safety glasses, shatter resistant, Please protect your eyeballs, you need them. Now that we have got all of our safety equipment, let's get into breaking open some geodes and how to do it with this here pipe cutter. Another very important step is having a clean work area. So, All right guys, so this is my soil pipe cutter. This is Betsy, is what I've named her. I've probably cracked uh, maybe like 1200 geodes with this thing. I'm gonna tell you guys what the names of the different parts are so that when I'm explaining how to use this to break open a geode, uh, we're all on the same page. So we're gonna get into that right now. Alrighty guys, so here we are. We're gonna take a little bit of a closer look um, once again, this is a soil pipe cutter. This one here was made by the company Wheeler Rex. Getting to know your soil pipe cutter, you're gonna wanna know a few terms. Um, one that is quite obvious, this is your chain, okay? Now, your chain has got a few different pieces and parts within it. Um, and a few key ones that you are going to want to know. This is your cutter wheel. Okay, this is what's doing all of its work to crack that geode. Now this in here moves and it rolls and it spins around this right here, which is called the cutter pin. Okay, very important to know. Cutter wheel and cutter pin. Um, now this chain itself is 27 inches long, meaning that I can crack up to about eight inches, um, give or take in size of a geode. Um, now you can get extensions for these. You can purchase longer ones. I have not gone down that route yet, um, but I have considered it. Um, <clears throat> so those are the two things we wanna know from <clears throat> the chain. This right here is called the hook. All right, so we've got two sides to the hook and you'll notice on the chain, there are two sides of the cutter pin, and this hook is actually where the cutter pins are gonna sit inside. Moving down a little bit further, this right here is called your hand grip knob. Okay, now this, what this is gonna do, this is going to apply some pressure here and it's gonna put some space here. You can see the bottom screw now, if we loosen it, we are gonna get more space in there and we can tighten it and we can see 
it'll get to a point where it gets to this piece of metal and it actually pushes it. You can see the whole thing move as you put the pressure in there. And that's the end of it. So I will elaborate in a little bit uh, what the purpose of this is. And then moving on down, these are your two handles. This is your bottom handle. You'll notice that this part is flat. This is the part that I typically put my foot on, um, but I also don't have really long legs, so a lot of times I end up setting my foot over here. And this is your top handle. Bottom handle and top handle. The top you always want to be the nice full piece, so you got a good grip on it. Typically, I think there is supposed to be an actual rubber grip on here. Mine didn't come with one. The joys of buying used. <laughs> And then, like I said, this is the bottom. So you always want this part to be facing the ground. Otherwise, you're just going to be all backwards. It's not going to, it might work, but it's just not going to be, not going to be the way you want it to work. So always want to use the equipment properly. So there we have it, guys. Chain. Cutter wheel. Cutter pin. And we've got the hook and the hand grip knob. Moving on, I'm gonna show you guys how I set a geode inside of the grip. Okay, for demonstration's sake, I've got this um, as tight as it can be, so that means all, all of that bolt is in there, so that gives me the chance. Now I'm gonna loosen it, I'm gonna take it back, about halfway so you always want to set this in the middle because that's the sole purpose of this is once we get the geo chained up depending on where this is it's going to be very difficult to break so this is to manipulate and control uh where the geo is going to go so like i said you want to start with that about halfway okay but this is still this is still the bottom handle okay you want these at a 90 degree angle okay there we have it. So this, this jaw is nice and opened up. Now you can see here, we'll be able to see a little bit better what this knob actually does, okay? So we can do this and you'll see right here, this space is getting wider, okay? So this won't let you go completely closed, but if you go the other way and get some more space in there, it gets to a point where it actually moves it and you can get these two bolts here to actually touch. This is as, as wide as it will go. So you always want it to be as wide as it can be. And you want to have a little bit of that bolt in there so that you got some space, okay? And then we're gonna set our geode right inside here. So that means we need a geode. Thankfully, through the joys of video editing, we can make that happen right now. Hey, look at that, it worked. All right, we are gonna get this one all lined up in the chain and you guys are gonna be right here with me to see how we do it. There we go. That's a lot better. Um, just the ground one's a little uneven there. So when you're doing this, you want there to be a little bit of space here underneath the jaws of the pipe cutter. You're gonna set your geode in here. Uh, you're going to want to set it in there the way you want to crack it, okay? And then you're just going to wrap your chain around. You're going to want to wrap, obviously, a little bit more, okay? Because you're going to want to see what link is going to line up there. Now, this one here we could do, but that might be a little bit snug. So, I always like to give a little bit of... A little bit of wiggle room so we're gonna go with that next link there set it right in okay so now we know our geode's gonna fit in there and then I always like to take the approach of just lifting this up a little bit and set my geode right in there just because that way if there is a thicker part that's gonna set the chain on the ideal spot for where you want to crack the geode. <clears throat> Slide this over here a little bit. And we're gonna start to put some pressure on it. 
I also like to stay on a flat surface because it does come in handy being able to tuck your, your foot on there, underneath there a little bit. Now it's normally not this difficult guys. This is only for the sake of where my camera tripod is. All right, there we go. There, okay, so we can see we've got some pressure on it. So now the chain is holding itself up on there. Now we have enough pressure. You can see I've got both my hands. And we're just gonna apply a little bit of force so that we're able to pick that up and turn it. All right, guys. Now that you guys have seen that a little bit closer up and slowed down, I've got you guys right in the front seat and we're gonna do this in real time. So you can see it's much easier to do when I don't have the tripod there. Okay, but there we are guys, just like that. And then the last tip, don't leave your chain up here like this. All right, always lay the chain down, any excess links over the top. All right, go. We've got a good hold on it here. I'm going to explain the purpose of the hand grip knob, which is this right here. So right now you can see the angle of this. So I've got, I've got a decent angle, so I've got some leverage on the geode, but if I increase the tension here, you'll see, and now this is like a right angle, and you can keep going, keep going, and now we've got an obtuse angle that's going to be extremely difficult to try and hold down and crack this geode. Now, if we release some tension, now when doing that, you wanna make sure you keep a, a foot on the bottom handle because it is gonna shift, okay? But now we release some of that tension, everything's gonna shift and it's gonna put us in a much nicer place to crack this geode open. And if we have a geode that's got, you know, keeps giving us issues, so even if we're at this angle, uh, 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 we can't get it, okay? We got the option. We can keep coming down. Might be a little bit easier. Oh, still can't get it this way. You can drop all of that slack out of there. And look at that. There we go. Now we got it. So it comes in handy. And check that out. Not a bad little geode to crack open. For the sake of demonstrations, I'm gonna do one more, okay? So now that last one, we took all that slack out of there. So we're gonna get that back to about halfway, maybe a little less. All right, and let's get right into it. There we go. And like that, we are ready to crack into any geodes. Hope that helped you out, guys. Have any comments, questions, concerns? Let me know in the comment section below, guys. Until then. I will see you next time, guys.